Rick Shields has just posted uh, 10 years on YouTube and celebrating his success. Well done, Rick Shields. But we must be clear that if it wasn't for Performance 54, a marketing company that promotes many, many facets of the sports and golf, um, then he wouldn't be in that position. And Performance 54, oh, also behind Peter Finch and the Jazzy Golfer, um, probably more others that we don't really know about. And so it's interesting that it's all connected because the LIV Tour, the Saudi run tour, is also run by the same directors that run Performance 54, and it's Saudi backed. And uh, now what's interesting about this, PNUK have done some videos on this, and each time he puts these videos up, they try to take it down. They have taken it down for defamation. Can you believe it? But all this information is already out there in the public domain. In the UK, we have Companies House, and it's not that hard to go to Companies House, type in Rick Shields, type in Mark Foster, you'll get everything, you get everything, get their dresses and everything like that. That's not illegal. Nothing's illegal there. But it seems strange that they don't want you to know about all this and why I that's for you to work out so maybe Rick Shields doesn't like the idea of being associated with the Saudi Arabians now I can't stand here and be all uh, you know on my moral high ground about this that's because I use Saudi oil in my car right I don't really want to but I've got no choice I'm paying them money they're paying millions to already multi-millionaire golfers and they're saying grow the game of golf now i've got no allegiance to the pga i, I really don't so i'm not really in this fight but i just find it interesting that all these companies performance 54 and the liv which is roman numerals for 54 that i found out uh, are all connected and all these youtubers and it says one big machine one big promotion machine watch this video it's really interesting laters some large golf youtubers and how their growth was astronomical and how i couldn't understand how they they absolutely exploded on youtube even though they're already big but they saw astronomical growth so i looked into some of these big golf youtubers one being rick shields the other being peter finch and the final one that came about as well was the Jazzy Golfer. Now, Rick Shields is number one in the world. Uh, Peter Finch what eight. Jazzy Golfer's more of a um, influencer, social media, Instagrammer, presenter than an actual uh, YouTuber, even though she has a YouTube channel. So what, what came out was all three of these golf YouTubers were part owned by a, a PR marketing firm called Performance 54. So, 33% Peter Finch is owned, 40% Peter, uh, sorry, Rick Shields is 33% owned by Performance 54, 40% owned uh, Peter Finch is owned by Performance 54, and 49%. All oh, right, I was hoping to do this quick, but it's going to take a bit longer than I thought. Anyway, Performance 54 represent a lot of golf brands, Titleist Footjoy, England Golf, Armaco, Faldo, the Faldo Development, Troon Golf, um... And what happened then was Performance 54 Group Limited arrived. All of a sudden, this new company, Performance 54 Group, arrived. And all the shares from Performance 54 would be moved towards Performance 54 Group, right? So they then owned 100% of Performance 54. So Performance 54 Group Limited owns Performance 54. Performance 54 owns part of these free golf YouTubers. Interesting. This was part one. That was where part one finished. So we look into who owns Performance 54 and all the way up here we go. Jed Moore, uh, Sanibel Private Equity Company and number one, uh, Golf LLC Saudi Arabia. All this information was taken from company's house. The first video, this video got taken down for defamation. I did another video proving where all the information was coming and the original video was put back up. So here's the shareholders of um, 
Performance 54 Group Limited. Sanibel Private Equity owns 50.1% of the share or whatever. Out of 10,001 shares, um, Sanibel owns 5,001. So we had a quick look into who runs Sanibel uh, Equity. And the CEO is, I can't see what you can see here. Uh, Yasin Ben Opman Rumayan.